In this video, we'll find the protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for phosphorus. So phosphorus has one really primary isotope, and then it has another trace isotope. So let's look at both of these. If we look at the periodic table, we see the atomic number for phosphorus is 15. So 15 is the atomic number, and that's for any isotope of phosphorus. It'll always be 15. 15 is what defines phosphorus as an element. The atomic number, that's also equal to the number of protons. So we have 15 protons as well for both isotopes. When we look at the periodic table, we see this P here. So let's write that. If you see just the element symbol, it means it's a neutral compound. The protons and the electrons are equal. If you see something like a 3 minus after it, that means it's an ion. So this isn't neutral. P by itself, that's neutral. And all of the elements on the periodic table will be neutral. So we have protons equals the number of electrons. So 15 protons. And again, that doesn't matter what isotope you have. We'll talk more about isotopes later. That leaves us with neutrons and the mass number. For isotopes, the only thing that's different is the neutrons. And since protons plus neutrons equal mass number, the mass number will be different too. The way we figure this out is if we're not given one of these, often you'll be given one and you can figure the other one out. If we're not given one, we go to the periodic table, we look at the average atomic mass, we round that to a whole number. So we'll round that to 31. Now we can figure out the neutrons for phosphorus. Mass number is 31. We have 15 protons. When we're trying to figure out what the neutrons are, so we'll just call that x. Something plus 15 equals 31. That's 16. So now we know the neutrons, the mass number, for this isotope of phosphorus, and we name it phosphorus-31 based on its mass number. Almost all of the phosphorus, if you had a block of phosphorus, would be this isotope of phosphorus with just 16 neutrons. There's also another isotope called phosphorus-32. There's just a little bit of this. If it's 32, protons plus neutrons equals mass number. So this is going to be 17. And we call this phosphorus-32 because the mass number is 32. So understand that when we look at the average atomic mass, that's the average of these isotopes, but based on how much there is, based on abundance. There's a lot of mass number 31. In fact, almost all of it has the mass number 31 with those 16 neutrons. So this number is going to be close to 31. But there's a little bit of this, so we end up with not exactly when we take the average. We can write the notation for each isotope, though, using nuclear notation. So phosphorus 31, we put a 31 here, and then the atomic number 15, that goes right here. That's phosphorus 31. Phosphorus 32, we do like this here. 15, because the atomic number is always the same. If you have phosphorus, it'll be 15. So this shows individually. This shows the average based on their abundance. You can't really just look at the periodic table and tell how many isotopes there are. We can tell that most of them will be 31, but we really can't tell how many there will be. This is Dr. B with the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for phosphorus. Thanks for watching.